So on Tuesday this week, Google finally showed off their Pixel 8a, which was a bit surprising. But anyway, in this video, we're gonna be talking about that should you buy Google Pixel 8a or 7a. So without wasting any time, let's first hit the intro. So on the surface, if we look at both of these phones, they look very similar. But to Google's credit, there has been actually some major changes between Google Pixel 7a and Pixel 8a. So if we talk about the price, Pixel 8a in India costs around 52,000 rupees for 128 GB variant. And for the Pixel 7a, the price is right around 40,000 rupees in India. But we'll talk about prices later. First, let's talk about the specs of 8a and 7a. So Pixel 8a has got Google Tensor G3 chip with 128 GB and 256 GB storage variant with of course 8 GB RAM and it comes with a 6.1 inch display which consists of 2400 by 1080 pixel resolution. While on the other hand, Pixel 7a has Google Tensor G2 chip, 8 GB RAM and just one single variant of 128 GB only and 6.1 inch display with 2400 by 1080 pixel resolution. So as you can see, both of these devices have very similar specs but the only key difference is that pixel 8a has a newer tensor g3 chip and of course a 256 gb storage variant as well all right now let's talk about the design first so both these devices have a very similar design language as well with pixel 8a having more rounded design which i personally like a lot apart from this the dimensions are same and the weight is also same for both these devices but the only difference is that both of these devices have different colors so pixel 8a has four color options aloe bay porcelain and obsidian and on the other hand pixel 7a has four different colors that is orange white blue and black however i tend to prefer the 8a's color options as they look more appealing to me now let's talk about the display as this category is very simple because pixel 8a has two major changes the first is that pixel 8a can go up to 120 hertz while on the other hand google pixel 7a can only go up to 90 hertz when it comes to the refresh rate also the display in pixel 8a is actual display which has more brightness than the pixel 7a and also the peak brightness in 8a is 40 percent more than the 7a variant also with 120 hertz refresh rate the scrolling on pixel 8a will be more smoother than the 7a but other than this, the resolution and the screen size is still the same. Alright, now let's talk about the performance of both these devices. Which is pretty simple because Google Pixel 8a has a new chip that is the G3 chip. And of course, a newer processor will most likely to give a better performance. And since we saw that the performance in Pixel 8 with the G3 chip was great, so that should also be the case with Pixel 8a. But we'll see how that goes in upcoming time. So currently, Pixel 8a is pretty ahead than the Pixel 7a. But let's now talk about the camera. So in the camera department, nothing has been changed because both Pixel 8a and 7a have same camera system. Since both of these devices consist of 64 megapixel wide lenses, 13 megapixel ultra wide lenses and 13 megapixel front lenses. So as you saw when it comes to camera hardware there's no difference at all. But here's the interesting part that is the camera features. So Pixel 8a can do everything that the Pixel 7a can do. Offering features like portrait mode, face unblur, night sight and magic eraser. But not just that Pixel 8a also has the AI powered features which are fueled by Tensor G3 chip. For example there's AI features like magic editor and best take. This is where the Pixel 8a shines when it comes to camera features as it can perform various type of AI powered features which the pixel 7a cannot do so the camera part is done now let's talk about the battery life so right now it's a little difficult to say that which phone's battery is better but we can still look at the numbers to make a guess so pixel 8a's battery size is 4492 mah and on the other hand pixel 7a's battery size is 4385 so as you can see there's a marginal difference in both of these devices when it comes to the battery life and since pixel 8a is on the upper end that should give the pixel 8a a little advantage for the battery so clearly the winner again in this category is pixel 8a and apart from this this phone will also get 7 years of OS updates, which is pretty amazing. However, it will be interesting to see that till how much time Google will keep this promise. Alright, finally, let's come to the price point. So the Pixel 8a starts at 52,999 rupees for the 128 GB version in India. And for the 256 GB version, the price is 58,999 rupees. While on the other hand, Google Pixel 7a's price is 39,990 rupees 
in India for the 128 GB variant, which is the sole variant in the Pixel 7a lineup. So now the burning question again comes that which phone should you buy, be it Pixel 7a or be it Pixel 8a. So if we talk about all of the categories, you can see clearly that the Pixel 8a is the winner here and it clearly outshines Pixel 7a in various categories, however not by a big margin. And since there are many things in both the devices that are completely identical, the only difference is that Pixel 8a has a new and better processor. It has got more storage and of course more camera features powered by AI. And considering the jump in the amount of 10,000 rupees in both the devices, it would be hard to say to choose Pixel 7a over 8a until and unless you have a strict budget concern. Then of course you can opt in for Google Pixel 7a. So that was the comparison between both these devices that is Pixel 7a and Pixel 8a. And now you have to make up your own mind and select which phone do you want. And if you have any doubts do let us know in the comment section. And of course with that don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel Geekified and share this video as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then keep enjoying your life.